Uh, hey, yo, what's up, gamers? Welcome back to another video. It's me again, Bolts of Tell, and today I did another cool thingy with Yugi. Um, I finished off making my Black Bell Bride necklace. Look, look how cool it is! It's, it's made out of wood. I think I remember telling you guys about it in one of my previous videos. But, um, just to reiterate, um, so what happened was, like, last week I was in science class and I was really, really bored, right? And science class, this was third period, and so I was just like, hey, I should make a Black Veil Brides necklace. And so I got it in a small piece of paper from my pocket, and I, I, I googled the Black Veil Brides logo, and then I traced it right onto the piece of paper. And then I went into fashion class, fourth period, and because in fashion class we have transfer paper, and so I used my piece of paper, because like you, we can't pull out our computers in fashion class, I don't think. Um, why are my bangs like this today? Anyway, so yeah, I pulled out my piece of paper in fashion class, and I traced the Blackfield Brides logo from my piece of paper onto the transfer paper. And then I waited until period 5, the last period in product design class. And in product design class, that's where we do all of the making stuff. And so, for the past week or so in product design class, I have been uh, getting a small piece of wood, I traced, I traced the transfer paper onto the piece of wood, and then I made this. Um, I had to use a bandsaw to cut it out, which was really hard because this thing is tiny. Um, and then I sanded it using a bunch of different kinds of sandpaper. I don't know how to sand things either, but I just winged it. And then, the trickiest part was getting the holes in, because you can't use a bandsaw to drill holes. And so, I, I, I just drilled it. I have no clue how to use a drill. I've literally never used a drill in my life, I don't think. So this was the first time I've ever used a drill. Um, and basically what I did was, I, I needed to figure out how to actually put the drill bit into the drill. Um, I guess you just kind of like shoved in there until it clicks and then like you twist it and sometimes you could pull it and you have to like measure it as well to make sure that it's the right thingy. I actually had to drill this a bunch of times because I kept like not being able to find the right one. And also, yes, I, I, I did just do circles. I was too lazy to actually do it in a more intricate way. So this looks fine, I guess. And yes, it is made out of wood. Um, I would have liked to make it out of metal, but, uh, that is not possible. Because I cannot find a piece of metal, and also I wasn't sure if it would be safe as well. But this looks cool enough, and then I drilled tiny little- actually no, I nailed in little tiny holes to the side over there. Can you guys see that? And that's what that- that's what that piece is for as well, to just try and stabilize that the hole and so I know a hole and using a hammer and then I put it out and then I put a jump ring through it to attach it as a necklace um and then just today I I painted it so because like I don't have product design class ever again you know since it's like it's, it's the end of term tomorrow we have no more product design class ever this was the last period we had on it and so yeah I took it home and just before I, I painted it silver with some really old paint and then I decided that I it, it needed to be extra sparkly so I added some I coated it with nail polish but that still wasn't sparkly enough so I put on some star glitter as you can see like that on both sides and to make the front side even sparklier I put some little gemstone thingies on it and it looks cool and yes, I would have liked to buy a proper one, but like those are expensive and also my mom said no. So I just did the classic tower thing and I just made it. Um, but the cool thing about making your own stuff is that you get to customize it in any way. Like, say, if I did buy a real Black Veil Brides necklace, I would not be able to add the cute little glitter and sparkly things on it. And also, I would not be able to know, I, I would not know how to use a bandsaw or a drill or sandpaper, all that kind of stuff. I mean, so, so it's, it was a great learning experience, and then I attached it onto the necklace thingy, onto the necklace chain. 
and let's try this on let's see does this look cool wait hold on like there <gasps> look at it look this is so totally epic i'm so happy and cool thing is is that um you know how i ordered those black bull bride cds there's rich and divine and set the world on fire and they're coming soon they did actually ship them i know that i've said this before in some of my previous videos but yeah they're coming soon i'm so it's looking forward to it set the world on fire has been my favorite sound for like forever I love Black Veil Brides. Do you, do you guys know that? You know when you think of stereotypical teenage Black Veil Brides stand girls that are absolutely obsessed with the band and have a massive crush on Andy? Well, yeah, that's me. I'm I'm the stereotypical Black Veil Brides stand girl. Hi. Well, I'm one of them. There's a lot of them I've heard. Yeah. But that's okay, I'm proud of it. I'm proud to be a proud member, a proud soldier in the BBB army. Okay, it's getting late. It's like, it's it's 6.56 right now. I'm gonna go work out now because I was unable to go to the gym today. But that's alright, I'll go again eventually. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get all these updates. Bye guys!